Booster Guidance is a mod for Kerbal Space Program that lets you set a landing position uh, and it will fly your booster back uh, to land at that point, steering much as a Falcon 9 does uh, for its boost back and landing. Firstly we need to set the position of the landing target at the top here. Um, we can pick it with the mouse like that. We can set it to the current vessel location with set here uh, and we can tweak it north, south, east or west. Uh, we can do the same thing zoomed out here and we can go to the map view. We can set it to a navigation target if we do activate navigation the target will change we can also set it to a vessel um, we have a drone ship out here we can say oh, we need to unset and set it again so we see the update okay uh, and we can also just enter it manually um, so there we are So we have a target set, um, oh, we can show or hide the targets with this button. I'll come back to logging later. This disabled thing is an information message that you'll see in a moment. Um, so we can now press the button to boost back. It brings the rocket round. You'll see the error, this is the error in the predicted landing spot and the desired landing spot um, and that's coming down so the red cross is where we would land if we disable the guidance we would have landed there the angle there is the error in the attitude so that's the mod wants to steer the rocket in a certain direction and that is the angle between what it wants and what the vessel is currently at and then we see the time that's the time to landing 164 seconds and in square brackets there that's how much time the mod is spending computing the trajectory to the landing point so that should be um, you know, only a few milliseconds at the most, we hope. Okay, just a bit of a note about the interface now. At the moment we're in the coasting phase and you can see that uh, the window is divided into sections boost back, coasting, re-entry burn, aero descent and landing burn. And when one of those phases is active it will be highlighted so we'll see the button Oh, it's just switched aero descent now because it's done it didn't need a re-entry so that aero, aero descent is highlighted um, if we disable guidance everything is lit up again uh, no particular phase is enabled uh, we can click on the button for that phase say for landing burn and that section of the window will be highlighted we're now in in the landing burn if we just enable rather than clicking on a button um, it will start a boost back go through various checks and end up with a particular face so it's aero descent right let's let's switch it to coasting uh, we've now got this debug toggle on which will show us the desired orientation of the vessel and as we get lined up with that you'll see that angle come down to zero. Uh, we're shortly going to the re-entry burn at 55 kilometers that's the target 
speed is surface velocity. We'll just tweak that to 200 meters per second. Okay, the thrust is going to come in now. We have this gain setting, which is, is about how aggressively it steers to minimize the error. So that has a as this slider is more to the right, it will steer more aggressively and it will steer to a bigger maximum angle. So the gain and the maximum angle steered um, move together. So if you keep that low, it will won't steer very far off retrograde and it will take longer to minimize that error. So now it's switched to aero descent because that target speed was reached. Uh, but it'll now start climbing again, of course, because we're falling. Uh, again, we have a, a steer gain setting, which is quite high. And that, again, chooses a maximum angle. So that's about how aggressively steer on, aer on aero descent. If we keep that low, that would be no steering. And we're just steering retrograde. And you'll see it's lined up with the retrograde. Uh, it won't steer at all, but we can up that and the rocket will steer away from retrograde. Okay, I'm going to look at what controls we've got um, during the landing burn. Um, generally, the altitude at which to enable the landing burn is calculated when we're in the aerodynamic descent. Um, we have so that's set for us. We have we can set the engines to use. Uh, this craft's only got one engine. I'll show you that with another craft. Uh, let's enable the landing burn. Now let's set a high gain, and that if it can, it will try and steer across to the landing site. Uh, but it's generally not going to do that very well because of it's trying now. Oh that's pretty impressive. It's generally just trying to get to the ground. It's not really going to try and go sideways too much. Right, so now we've set this high touchdown margin. Once it reaches within 200 meters of the ground it's going to descend vertically at the touchdown speed of 4 meters per second. Let's so just um, just edit that and drop that. Then it's going to come down lower and then reach the touchdown speed now. But it's not going to steer once it's in this touchdown margin. Um, so the other thing we have here is this no steer height. Um, so that would normally be 200 at default. So when it gets within 200 meters of the ground, um, it will not try and steer towards the target. It will just um, steer retrograde to reduce its sideways velocity. So the general picture you need to get is it's not going to steer much um in the in the landing burn um unless well potentially if it is traveling fast we could try this out it will actually steer aerodynamically if the thrust is low enough so we can enable landing burn it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to have to use much engine thrust but it will ignite the engine and use the minimum thrust it can. Okay, so it's build, building up. So firstly it's tried to aim towards the target and steer with thrust. Now it's going faster, so it's steering out aerodynamically. It's like pointing its um, rear end at the target. So that's bringing it towards the target. It should now it's slowed enough again, it's going to point towards the target. 
Okay, so it's 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 quite complex. Um, when it's going slow enough, it's going to steer towards the target if it's got enough thrust to thrust in that direction. Uh, if it's dropping fast and it's not using much thrust, it's going to point aerodynamically and point its kind of rear end towards the target. Um, once it gets within no steer height, it's just going to steer retrograde. Um, oh, you saw it's got an altitude to deploy the landing legs at. And then once it gets within touchdown margin uh, of the landing site, um, it will have hopefully slowed down to the touchdown speed and will descend at the touchdown speed from there on. Thanks for watching, I hope that's given you a better idea about how to use the Booster Guidance mod. Uh, have fun using it and um, please check out some of my other videos to see some different landings using it.